Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So Autodesk just dropped my 2023 and it has a very cool feature, which is a live Boolean. And you might have seen this feature in ZBrush. So let's try and see how it works. So I'm going to take uh, two cubes, for examples, like this. And one more. So I'm going to select these two, go to mesh and booleans and I'm going to select anyone like this and now you'll see this uh, poly boolean tab here in your attribute editor and if I go to my outliner and select my second cube then I can move this cube anywhere onto this object so it's not set like it used to be in the previous versions of Maya you can move it anywhere you want if i want to join it here then i can set it here or i can just bring it here in the middle like this and it has some options here in the boolean operations so if you go here you'll see this uh, difference intersection slice cutout and all these operations so let's try this so with the difference uh, as you can see that we have a hole in this box so i can just select this and move it anywhere i want to shift this hole so i can move it around here on the corners or i can bring it to this side so it's completely procedural and live so you can also change these settings like this so if you want to keep the upper and the lower part of this cube you can change it to difference beam and a and we can also try this intersection let's see how slice works so it's not going to cut anything it's just going to create a selection onto this surface and we have this hole punch now we can create a hole onto the surface of this uh, cube with the help of this other cube and if you scale then the size of this booleans is also going to be changed so you can change it anytime you want like this you can rotate it like this and let's try this cutout so we have this cutout and now as you can see that we have a very interesting shape let's try this split edge so what it does that uh, it's going to create a selection in this surface but it's not going to cut or create a hole or anything so i think it's a very interesting feature it's going to come in handy when we are working on some hard surface models so that's it and i hope you like this video drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one